Okay, it's time for another Art Snacks box opening. And this is actually my second attempt, so I did open it and see what's in here. But I repackaged it for y'all to have the real experience. So, I have the menu card which is in here every month. We have the snack, Cry Baby, Bubble Gum. That might be a little too powerful for me. Awesome sticker. I love this. I love that now they used to all be the same. I have uh, lots of them because I've been getting it for a while. They used to all kind of look like that. And now they have different uh, patterns every month. That's kind of a nice surprise. So I, I think that's a good job on that and improvement art snacks. And we have first item, M. Graham and Company Artist Watercolor. Wow, this is awesome. It's half an ounce. This is a huge container of it. And it's retail $15.29. These are high quality, so I'm excited about that. And then we have these three Zebra Sensations brush pens. Now, they're beautiful. Blue, black, and silver, but no, they're all black ink. But I think that the color indicates the line thickness. So there's a super fine, a fine, and a medium. And if I remember correctly, this is super fine, this is fine, and this is medium. Let's find out, huh? So, and I have some water here. And uh, here's my little palette. Let's see if I can find some place for it. Okay, but before we test all those out, let's find out what's in the tissue. Because I happen to know since I just opened it, there's a brush. I got a number one round. It's a uh, Princeton Art. This is a synthetic stable. And it's on this side of the menu if you want to take a look at that. The Princeton Synthetic Sable Round Brush. I'm going to just take a little bit of this. Oh, I made a mess of it. Um, yeah, I might need to clean that off so that it doesn't glue its cap shut. Look at that. No, oh, you can't look at that, can you? No, yes, you can. Look at that beautiful color. And uh, let's swatch that out. Let me see here. So, I got some watercolor paper here. I'm not even sure what watercolor paper this is. It's probably 140 pound, but this was just a scrap, but it's decent. It's probably not the best, and it's definitely not the worst watercolor paper. So there you go, it's a happy medium, maybe. This is a beautiful color. What did I, I don't even think I said the color. This is, Azo yellow. It's beautiful. Light. Ooh. It's, reminds me of the sun. So that is the M. Graham watercolor. And I'm gonna, like I usually do the, my uh, book here and I put the, so what I'm gonna do with this other swatch is just stick it in there with washi because I like to save my swatches. I'm kind of being whoa crooked here. That was more than I wanted on there. M. Graham and oh dear, uh -huh. I hit my tripod. And sorry about that because that probably yeah I've got a tripod set up here, and uh, yeah I don't want to rock the boat. So let's take a look at these brush pens. We had, this one was super fine, I do believe. And why am I doing this sideways? I don't know. Um, maybe I'll turn it a little bit. It's not much better. Oh, this is the super fine. Okay, so Zebra Zensations. Let's just look at the line weight here. And this is on the watercolor cardstock. Now this is it's pigmented ink, so it's water resistant. Which let's see if it's water resistant when it's dry. I mean when it's wet. I just put that on there and it's staying put. So that's pretty good. 
Nice. And I love these tips because they, they're they firm but not too firm and uh, I think they're easier for me to use. Although I'm not really taking my time here to do, you know, really nice. Ooh, wait, I just touched the water. Look at that. So it does dry really quickly, but you put it, ooh, that's kind of cool. If you drop it into, there was some water drops, if you saw, ooh, did I just stick my head in the video? Probably. That's kind of cool, because then I can, uh, you know, put it on here and use it as a watercolor. Um, let's try that while I'm thinking about it. So when I do a, a picture, this will be great because then you can get some shading and a lot more variety of value there. That's, uh, but it is like, it dries really quickly because then I put water on there and it's already dry. So pretty cool discovery. This is, what did I say? This was fine and I did not write this one down and they, they just, this is super fine. The design feels really nice too. It feels good in my hand. Did you hear that click? It clicks on nice. This is a quality product here. And then we have medium. Whoops. And there obviously was some water there. But you know what? This is my swatch so I get to see what it does. And that's what it does. This is medium. I love a well-designed product and well-manufactured. Love that. And these are very nice. Okay. Now let's take a look at the final item. Let's not leave my brush in the water either. So let's set that down. This is a Faber-Castell, not really sure how to pronounce the rest of it, Magnus, Magnus watercolor pencil. So let's write it down. Faber Castell, and I'm just going to write watercolor pencil. It's fat. I mean, it's thick rather. Um, I'm not. That probably means I wouldn't break the lead as easily, but it doesn't feel as good in my hand. The uh, thickness of it. I tend to grip things too tight anyway, but so. It's good that I wouldn't be breaking lead so easily. Let's see how this does with the water. Oops. Did you see that? I just dropped that on there, which I didn't even mean to. And I forgot to mention that this is Venetian red, which if the light, I don't know if the lighting is true or not, but it's um like an earthy red. Like it reminds me of terracotta. I mean, it doesn't look it's not as orange as terracotta, but it reminds me of like a clay pot or something. Or maybe some washed out brick. It's, it's a nice color. So uh, what I'm doing here, I think, is just trying to see how much of the lines from what I drew remain. You no, know, if, if it leaves the image behind or not. And I see a little bit. It's good to know, though. I like how it's... Um, I can't think of my words right now. I like how it has blended the color out here with the water. <laughs> I'm sure that's not how you were supposed to say it, but yeah, this is a quality pencil. It's thicker than I would like, um, but that's personal preference, I think.